Your materials for this week's lab are four cups or test tubes, vinegar, a knife and a cutting board, hydrogen peroxide, which you can buy at the grocery store, a potato, measuring spoons, and a blender. In this portion of the lab, you'll be able to see an enzyme at work. As we discussed this week, enzymes are found in all living things. One of the common enzymes found in both animals and plants is called catalase. Catalase is used to break down hydrogen peroxide that occasionally builds up within our cells. Hydrogen peroxide is a waste product of reactions that occur within our body. If it were allowed to build up, it would be fatal. Thankfully, our cells contain catalase, which breaks down the hydrogen peroxide into harmless water and oxygen gas. And you can see the reaction for how that occurs right there on the screen. Remember, the catalase helps the reaction to occur and does not get used up during the reaction. So, let's see it work. Okay, you'll start by cutting your potato into about one inch cubes. And then we'll put half of those into our blender. And the directions tell you to blend until it looks like oatmeal. So you can watch to see what that consistency is on here. And then we're going to take a teaspoon of that mixture and put it in each of the first three of your test tubes or cups. And you can kind of tap it down or push it to the bottom, but that potato mixture should be all the way on the bottom when you're done. Then you're going to put the other half of the potato cubes on a plate and microwave it for two to three minutes. And then you're going to blend the cooked potato. And put it in tube number four or cup number four. And again, make sure that it ends up all the way on the bottom. Okay, and then as your directions tell you, we are adding one teaspoon of water to the first tube or cup. And we're going to add one teaspoon of vinegar to the third tube or cup. And then trying to do this as quickly as you can, you want to add one teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide to tubes two, three, and four. Okay, and then I have this set about three times faster than it actually went, but you should see that tube number two or cup number two begins to foam, and you'll answer some questions about why that's happening. And I would be very surprised if anything was happening in your other three tubes or cups. 
And again, you'll describe why that's happening in your discussion questions.